Wow. So um, let's go and take a look at how to do part C, right? Because part C is going to be on your homework, so you guys need to know what to do. So part C is going to say finalize this problem, John, by finding our solutions using the quadratic formula. So what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you guys to the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula goes in the form of this. x equals opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Okay, That is what we call our quadratic formula. Now, here's the cool thing about the quadratic formula. First of all, do you guys see that we're only dealing with a, b, and c, right? In a quadratic, can we figure out what our a, b, and c are? Which we already did, right? So we already know that a equals 5, b equals negative 1, and c also equals negative 1. Now the other cool thing about the quadratic formula is look at what's under the square root. You guys remember that square root, that's, um, or you remember, let's say, do you guys remember what the b squared minus 4 times a times c, what does that represent? The discriminant. So guess what? If you can just find the discriminant, then you already know what's going to go under your square root. So let's go back and write it. So now we have x equals opposite of b. So b is negative 1, so the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 21 divided by 2 times a, which is 10. All right? That is part of the formula. It's just always going to be part of the right. I can show you where this formula comes from, but it might get a little confusing for you to get started off. But all you just need to understand, this is your general formula, which you'll have. Okay? Yes? So you just put a random number. How do you get 21? That's right. Remember, that's how we found the discriminant? That was in the last video oh, that I just yeah, did. Yeah. Right? So when I do, uh, what, negative 1 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 1, that's how I got 21. Right? This is what I did last video. Three, four times five, four, negative four times five. Negative four times five is negative twenty. Times negative one is positive twenty. Negative one squared is positive one. One plus twenty equals twenty-one. So well, so you have your twenty-one, which is the discriminant, and then you complete your other two B and A, and then here's your two answers. Now, if you remember, we described the discriminant, right? Do you got, does anybody remember what we said the answer was last last the video? for the description of discriminant, it was what? Two real irrational, right? Irrational numbers are special numbers that we cannot write as fractions, right? They have repeated answer. They go on and on forever. Can you take the square root of 21? Can you get an exact value for the square root of 21? No. And do you see how there's a plus and a minus? So that's why we're going to have two real irrational roots, because square root of 21 is going to produce an irrational number and plus or minus that, you're now going to have two solutions. So that's why you're going to get your two irrational roots. All right? And besides that, guys, you can't simplify that any further. So you can just leave your answer just like that. All right? All right. So how about this? 